Hey everybody, welcome to the video. This is the third time I've recorded this video. The first time I didn't have my microphone on and the second time, well, I actually wasn't recording. So let's get into it. Uh, today I'm gonna teach you how to do this cool swipe transition effect. We have no script for this video, which is um, pretty cool because we're just gonna be vibing the whole time. First, I'm going to assume that you have a scene already set up that's fully textured that you do want to apply this clay material to and wanna add this swipe transition to. So I'm going to have my scene that's set up here. As you can see, my scene is set up in Eevee. I have a few different materials here, red, blue, green, yellow slash orange and pink monkey. And then I have a white cube off to the side. This is gonna help us later, but you don't need to worry about it right now. The first step to doing this cool swipe transition effect is rendering your animation or image like you would normally, fully textured and without anything else in the scene. So in other words, just do it like you would upload it to Instagram or ArtStation, wherever you would upload your art. So I'll do that real quick. I'll go to render animation, make sure I have a file path set up here, and I'll see you guys when I'm done rendering. Okay, our file is complete here. All the monkeys do look like they're in order here. We have a little bit of camera movement. And uh, yeah, our next step is changing everything over to one material so we get that clay render look. Generally clay renders only have one material, they can be different shades of white but I like to keep mine white and this cube is the default white here. Now this cube is off screen in our render so we don't need to worry about it, however we're now going to change all of these materials here over to this white material. Now if you watched our old video on how to apply one material to multiple objects in Blender, you can go check that out. I'll leave a card right above this video that'll pop up right now and I'll leave a link down in the description if you want to check out that video after this. Basically, that video covers selecting all of our materials like this and our objects and then clicking on the object with the material that we want to apply to all of the other objects. Then we'll hit Control L and then go to materials. That's simply going to change all of these materials on all of these objects, so it's the same material as the last object that we selected, which is this white cube right here. Now I'm gonna hit Control Z for just a second. If you're in the Cycles rendering engine, you can do the same thing, but Cycles has a more advanced feature for this type of stuff. If we go to the view layer properties right here, we can go all the way down to this override. And override, what it's gonna do is change the material of all of the objects in your scene to one material that you want it to be, which sounds pretty much exactly like we want to do. So under the material override here, we'll select the material that we want to apply to all of our scene here, which is the material number four, this white cube. And as you can see now, if we go into our render, all of the monkeys are white because they all had the new material applied to them. Now, unfortunately, if we go back into Eevee, that material override does not stick. So if you're rendering in Eevee, you can simply select all of your objects and make them a new material by that Control L feature that we just talked about. And if you're in Cycles, you can use the material override, which is great either way. So now after we have all of our materials changed here to a new material, we can get that clay render started. So go to Render, Render Animation, but before you do, make sure you change your file path here so you don't overwrite your original render. I'll see you guys when this is done rendering. Okay guys, so the clip just finished rendering. It was only a few seconds here because we're rendering in Eevee. And as you can see, we have the exact same camera animation with the new clay material that we just created, which is just the default material in Blender. Now we need to combine these two videos and add the swipe transition so we can get that cool effect that you see in the cell tower render here. Let's head back to Blender and we'll go to this video editing tab. If you don't have the video editing tab on your screen, you can click this new tab button, go to video editing, and then once again, click on video editing here. Since I already have the tab open, I'll just click on the video editing tab. So we are now in the video editing workspace and if we hit render to an image or animation, what it is currently on in the video editing is going to override everything that we have in our viewport here. So I don't want you to worry about anything in your viewport, whether you have to delete it or not. Let's just stick in the video editing tab for now. From here, we're gonna insert our two videos that we rendered. So let's go to our add and then go down to movie. If you did not render it as a AVI file, I would recommend going down to image sequence and seeing if you rendered it as a PNG. But I know I rendered mine as two videos, so I'm gonna click on my two videos here. I'll go to add movie strip, and it's gonna insert these two files here, one after the other. Now we have the non-rendered first, and then if we go a little bit later, we have the rendered. We don't want one to appear after the other, we actually want them to play at the exact same time. So I'm gonna take this first clip and move it under the second. It's super important that you have one clip above the other, and the clip that's on top is the white material here. So we're gonna remove and add the white material 
when we want to. Now this is all great, but how do we do the swipe transition effect? I have a few files down in the description that you can download. They're most likely going to be in a Google Drive link that you can click on and download when you want to. These files are simply going to act as alpha masks, telling us when to make our video transparent and when to actually show our video in the video editing tab here. So once you have those two videos or one video downloaded, you can go to add. It's a movie, so you can click on movie and then you can find where you downloaded it. I downloaded mine to my desktop, so I'm gonna go to my desktop here and I'm going to click on the swipe transition one. You might be wondering why I have these cats down here. I'll just play the video real quick. I fell down. So I'll click on the swipe transition one and then hit add movie strip. Now this video is both blue and light blue. The light blue stands for the audio and the blue stands for the video. So we'll get rid of the audio real quick delete that and then we'll stick with the blue here you can even move it down now if we hit play on our video here you can see that the video you downloaded just plays because it's in front of the other two clips that we have here the way we can fix that is by making this initial video a mask so we're going to go to our top render here the one that does not have any materials applied to it aka the clay render the one where everything is white and we're going to apply the mask to this video we'll go to the modifiers tab which is on the right here click on that and then we're gonna add a mask modifier. What this is gonna do is where the value is white, it's going to show a video and where a value is black, it's not going to show a video. The white and black values we're gonna take from that swipe transition. So let's see what it does. I'll click on mask and then for the mask, I'm going to use that swipe transition one. Now, if we look at our video here, it looks the same as it did before. There's a very simple fix to this. We'll click on our swipe transition here and then hit H to hide it. Now, as you can see, the video transitions from being completely transparent to showing this clay render that we have here. Now, this is getting closer, but this isn't exactly what we want, so we'll fix this up real quick. We're going to click on the video we applied the mask to, aka the clay render, and then we'll change the blend mode here. So instead of making a cross, we're gonna make it alpha over, which simply means it's going to allow the video below this video to display through the transparent value that we have here. So if we click on that, we can see that we have a cool transition between our texture and non-texture now. So let me play the video real quick, make sure everything looks good. It's transitioning pretty well and it transitions back. Now we have some frame drops when the transition happens, that's going to be based on how powerful your computer is and so on. Now before we finish with this clip here, we need to do one more thing. If we go back to the layout tab and then click on the render properties tab and go all the way down to color management here, we'll see that our view transform is filmic. This is good for normal rendering because we have lots of values from super bright to super dark that are visible in our render, but we don't want to apply this two times. Remember, we did two renders and this filmic view transform was on both of them. Now, if we do the filmic view transform again, it's going to make our render look really gray and kind of washed out. So we're just gonna change this over here to standard. You can see some effects in the viewport, but we're not gonna worry about that right now. What we mainly need to worry about is our video editing. Now it looks a little less washed out and and we're not applying that and we're not applying that filmic effect twice. Now we're set to render, so I want you to change your file path one more time here. I'm gonna change mine to final render, swipe, transition effects, and I'll see you guys when it's done rendering. Okay guys, the video just finished up rendering. Let's check out how it looks. Final render swipe transition effect, and boom, it looks amazing. So we have that transition to our clay material and then back to our color materials. Now, like I said, guys, you can apply this to more complex renders here. You can apply it to something like the cell tower I have. And of course you can apply it to all of your projects that you may have at home. The initial cell tower render I did in After Effects, but I wanted to prove that you can really do anything with Blender. So I'm gonna give you guys these swipe transition files and then you can do the transition all in Blender at home by yourself. Just want to give you a little quick tutorial here on how to do that swipe transition because uh, I find it's very cool. I've been watching it for a long time and uh, this is my first time really trying it out and uh, seeing what it looks like. So that was it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, I'll answer lots of your questions down in the description. I want everybody to stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll leave all my Instagram, ArtStation, stuff like that down below. Everybody have a good day.